In today's episode, we're gonna take this ocean monument and turn it into a shipwreck island with a guardian farm inside. But before we do that, we are going to need to collect up some materials. So into the nether we go. Yep, still creepy in here. The first thing that I need is actually some soul sand and we're gonna need a lot of it for this guardian farm. So I'm gonna fly around here and find myself a soul sand valley. I hear you, Mr. Skeleton. And yoink! Got him! Ha ha! You, di you didn't die. I thought you were going to be dead already. There we go. Now you're dead. So at this point, I spent a good bit of time collecting up soul sand in order to fill up two shulker boxes. And this should now be plenty of soul sand for our project today. I hope. I'm also pretty sure that I'm out of blaze rods, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill a few of these guys because we're also going to need to brew some potions today. Little over a stack of blaze rods, and we should be good to go on potions for a little while. Sleep! Ah, good morning, desert sun. Now I very quickly want to head over to the desert so that I can collect up a ton of sand. So I'm going to try and fill up four shulker boxes full of sand. But that may end up being a bit of an issue because the durability on my shovel isn't looking too hot. But that didn't stop me from getting as much sand as I possibly could. I'm back! Did you miss me? So that's a question that I have for you guys. Are these things alive? Because you kill shulkers in order to make shulker boxes. So are we using these guys' as bodies? Or are they still alive? Or maybe it's better if we just don't think about it. But I got myself some potions crafted up and it is now time to head to the ocean monument to start this guardian farm. So I'm gonna get myself set up on this little island here because the ocean monument is just right out there a little ways. And now it's time to build this farm. So I got to work building the Guardian Farm, and this design is from Logical Geek Boy. So if you want to check out a tutorial on how to build this, I'll leave a link in the description down below to his channel. So the Guardian Farm is now fully in place, and we are starting to get plenty of prismarine shards and crystals. But let's be honest, the farm here looks pretty bad. I'm thinking like some super jagged peaks that are coming out of the ocean that a ship ran into, maybe after being attacked by the Guardians. I really like this idea. So I got started working on the island by first making a layout so I knew the general area that I was going to be working with. After that, I started building up the main peak. However, this wasn't going so well, so I decided to just make a huge mound of stone and then slowly chip away at it until I had the jagged edges that I want. After that, I started adding in smaller peaks to the rest of the island and then textured it with some andesite and cobblestone. And I gotta say, it didn't come out looking too bad. It's definitely a very menacing looking thing out on the water, but I think that's exactly what we were going for. But we are not done with this island. In fact, far from it. I still have plenty more that I want to add to this place, including a shipwreck. But before we get into that, I think that this island looks pretty lonely being out here all by itself. So I think what I want to do is add in a bunch of smaller islands around this thing. Kind of make it look like a jagged shore on the outskirts of the main stony island. So I think I'm just gonna come out into some random areas around the island and just make some very stony looking structures. A lot like these peaks that we have on the island, but some much taller, some much shorter, but nothing as tall as the main peak up there. I still want that one to be the tallest. So something a bit like this, in fact, this one may be a bit too close, but I think it's fine. But this one over here, kind of the perfect distance away so that this island doesn't feel so lonely, but this is still its own little island. Also material update, this is now my fourth shulker box of stone I'm going to be using. I mean, honestly though, who would have thought that an entirely stone custom island would cost a lot of stone. But I have added in some more jagged rocks around the entire island to make it feel like this isn't just sitting all by itself. And I think that the effect works 
pretty well. I may need to add some more around the back of the island back here, but overall, I think that this turned out looking pretty good, but we still have more to do. And the next thing I want to work on, I think is going to be some foliage. Right now, everything is extraordinarily gray for the island. So what I'm thinking is actually getting out a little bit of moss and making kind of a outskirting trim to the island. Just kind of make a shoreline out of the moss. And yeah, I know we collected up a bunch of sand and we're still going to use some of it. But now that I'm actually working on the island, I really like the jagged stone look. But one thing I'm not entirely sure I'm going to like is moss. I had this idea to kind of come around the island and just do the edging of the island. Just a little bit of kind of a border around the bottom with it. And I'm not entirely sure how I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I definitely like it. I think it's one of those things that we're gonna have to use pretty sparingly though. We're not gonna be able to just spam this around the entire island. We're gonna have to be pretty careful with how we use it. Yes, 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 I am loving this. So I also went through and put some azalea leaves just through the center of the island to try and add just a little bit of color to the interior. Not as much as we have with the moss, that really bright, gritty green. Just little pops, pops throughout the island. And I would love to actually get an aerial view of the island, but uh, pretty sure I don't have any gunpowder for rockets. I really should make a mob farm soon. And before we get into the last stretch of today's video where we make the shipwreck itself, I do just want to mention the lighthouse. In the last episode, I mentioned that if we got that video to 1,000 likes, we would work on a lighthouse in today's episode. And as of recording this clip right now, that episode sits at 690 likes. Hello? What are you doing? Are you gonna like my video? Don't blow up my ship! I do not- <laughs> Oh, this is not good. This is not good. You- Oh, hey, I needed gunpowder. But yeah, 690 likes. So, so close to a thousand. So I tell you what, I'm gonna give you guys another shot at it. If this video gets 700 likes, we will do the lighthouse in the next episode. We're at 690 right now, so just a few more people and we'll have a beautiful lighthouse on that cliffside. I think this is totally doable. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, riding up on this island looks <laughs> menacing, dude. Absolutely menacing. Like, I built it and I don't want to go there. But we must, and that is because we have one last build to do on the island. And that is the shipwreck. But my idea for the shipwreck is to have it coming up the side of the island at an angle kind of like this. And the idea and the lore behind this is that some big massive trade ship was trying to get to our kingdom when they were attacked by the guardians. Thrown off course and then boom! Into Ship Shredder Island. Now that is definitely a ship shredding island. <laughs> so I started building this ship and I took a lot of inspiration from the ships that we already made in our port. I basically just took it, made it slightly diagonal, and then raised the front end of the ship as if it had hit one of the rocks and kind of threw the ship upward a bit. I also punched holes into the side of the ship, I roughed up the sails, and overall I think that the shipwreck looks really really good this shipwreck took ages to build but i think this is totally worth it it adds a huge focal point to the island as well as some much needed color because this island is very very gray it's also got a little bit of lushness to it but for the most part very gray very uninhabited because of the sea monsters surrounding the island and uh now we definitely had some uh marooned people here at some point. 
And as for the farm itself, it's running pretty good still. I need to clean out some of the chests, but because we are actually down here on the island, it's not going to run as good as if we were up in the AFK spot above the island. But that's okay, I can AFK over here another day. Also, this is probably the loudest farm I've ever made in Minecraft ever. You know, it's not often that I get impressed with my own building abilities, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this looks so cool, dude. I love this. But that's going to be where I wrap up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Once again, 700 likes. And in the next episode, we are going to build that lighthouse on the cliff. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.